In this video, I want to share one of the main cognitive shift I had uh, recently, a few days back, when Swanji was talking about life has to be built consciously. Om Bhairava Rudraya Maha Rudraya Kala Rudraya Kalpanda Rudraya Veera Rudraya Rudra Rudraya Kora Rudraya Kora Rudraya Mardanga Rudraya Anda Rudraya Pramanda Rudraya Thanda Rudraya Prachanda I welcome you with love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shini Tiranda Paramashivam. In this video, I want to share a um, cognitive shift uh, that, Swam, that, I, that I'm experiencing and that Swamiji uh, initiated in me a few days back when he was talking about the reinforcing, because I've heard uh, Swamiji sharing about, about that earlier, but it, I guess it didn't impact me as much as it did a few days back. And um, Swamiji was emphasizing on uh, building your life consciously, building your feeling connection consciously. Sometimes, out of nowhere, it's kind of an accident, we feel connected. Or you have a devotional, a high devotional experience or a high Kundalini awakening or you get some, some high frequency, which is difficult to forget because because it's so different and you feel so alive. When you have these experiences, you feel so alive that um, you kind of always seek a way to come back to that experience. So, but many times it happens um, out of accidents. Even in the past, Swamiji was sharing that many enlightened beings, their enlightenment happened by accident. But Swamiji is reviving it as a science and actually Hinduism is a science. Unfortunately, today the Hinduism that we live today is mainly uh, social and cultural, but um, actually the very purpose of everything that is uh, done in within Hinduism is for the sake of enlightenment. It is the science of superconscious breakthrough, the science of enlightenment. It is the, the tradition which is uh, given to planet Earth, to the human beings, in order for them to uh, realize the purpose for which they assumed the human body. So recently Swamiji was sharing about uh, puja and how puja is so powerful. Um, when I started my spiritual journey, I got connected through meditation. Meditation was the main thing through which I connected. And recently I've been conducting these unclutching sessions on a regular basis. If you're interested to uh, join, uh, it's free and uh, uh, drop a comment below or contact me on Facebook. And uh, as I was conducting these meditation sessions, um, naturally I was, you know, you were getting, strengthening that space where you are highly aware and the unclutching meditation is very good for that for various reasons. But so already you're sharing that one of the issues with meditation is that sometimes you drift off and you don't realize you're drifting off because, uh, because you're kind of half dreaming or half asleep or you're caught somewhere. And and, and then you, you lose a lot of the, the, the purpose and the, you waste it. I mean, it's kind of a time waste, right? You don't, you don't, that one hour that you sit in meditation, you might spend, you know, 35 minutes, 40 minutes into some half aware state, uh, half aware state where you do not get the real experience and benefits of meditation. But Swanji was sharing puja on the other hand, does not have this problem because when you do a, a long elaborate puja, um, you're constantly required to do some very simple actions, offering water, offering flowers, very simple things, but which keep your body aware and alive. And therefore you do not fall into uh, states where you start to drowse or feel sleepy or get become unaware. Um, so, so when he said that, it really clicked with me. I was like, yeah, that's so true. And it's so simple. And Swamji was sharing how when he was being trained in the Ramakrishna mission, he used to do like, 12 to 16 hours pujas. So that's crazy. So imagine, you know, you're in that space, 12, 16 hours, constantly there, and that you, you build that feeling connection so strongly within yourself. After, after, after doing that for some time, I mean, you cannot be shaken by anything. What you have, the system, nervous system you're creating for yourself, the, the, the space and you, the, the, it's like, it's totally next level. 
Um, I want to show a small clip here where Swamiji talks about uh, benefits of puja and how uh, puja is basically one of the best ways of get, getting rid of stress. So let's have a quick look. Internal organ and intra organ, getting them aligned in a stress-free way is the most beautiful life. Any other lifestyle is torturous. Understand? If you are not allowed to do yoga, made to believe early morning sleep is the best thing in your life, you are tortured, you are abused, your divine rights are violated. If you are constantly inspired to do yoga early morning, Brahma Muhurta time and everyday puja, sit that 30 40 minutes and melt down by feeling connection. Understand, nothing can be compared to prayer to bust your stress. I tell you, prayer is the best stress buster. Deep feeling connection and tears rolling in your eyes and melting down. Prayer to Paramashiva. Intense yearning, Vyakulata, talking to Paramashiva, relating to Paramashiva. Nothing can be compared to that. To bust your stress. I tell you. Every day puja. Is an ultimate recharging experience. If you do. Every day puja. The kind of the. Stress-free life you will live. Your whole biological clock will be aligned to Kailasa. I tell you. I have seen the people who have the habit of Nitya Puja live long. Not just long, happy. In my whole life, it is Nitya Puja, Puja, that, that gave me all the best things of life. Every day Puja, relating with the deities is the best stress buster. Receive Atma Linga, do puja every day. That is your ultimate human right and divine right. Puja is the time tested, foolproof, ultimate stress busting methodology. Life of bliss, ecstasy, powerfulness. The life of oneness, Parama Shivoham. I tell you. The essence of Veda, Vedanta, Agama, Agamanta, Yoga, Yoganta, Siddha, Siddhanta, Tantra, Tantranta, Everything can be realized with a sincere, deep feeling connection puja. Puja is the ultimate. 
especially nitya puja it is just unimaginable lifestyle so yes puja is important puja is not just something where you not only there's the dimension of invoking gods and relating to gods which is very very important especially hinduism is here to teach us that that these beings exist other planes of existence exist and you can relate to them you can engage with them you can enter in oneness with them and you can allow these beings to manifest through your body by doing the puja so that's one of that's the main purpose of doing the puja um as far as i understand it is to connect to strengthen the feeling connection and connect with these gods and goddesses and allow them to radiate through you so yet you can be a blessing for yourself and for people around you but even from a from a training that aspect just being in that space being constantly engaged in remembering the deity connecting with the deity it's a very strong meditative space so and when you do it for hours or on a, not even maybe for most of us doing it for hours is not not something we would do but even every morning you know nitya pujas in the morning morning routine during brahma muhurta which is uh before the sun rises basically around 4 to 6 or 4:30 to 6:30 and during that time you know doing the morning routine and having nitya puja happening at that time is very important because at that time it is the time where you can uh you can um create your life so he says actually life is not uh solid as you think it's actually malleable and during that time 4:30 to 6:30 or 4 to 6:30 we call it brahma muhurta during that time if you're not asleep you can whatever thought you cherish at that time that molds the reality you will experience so actually being awake during that time is the most strategic way of existing you should plan to be awake you should never sleep nor dream during that time because whatever you cherish during that time is what your reality will be so it's like you're molding you know the the experience you will have uh, once you come once you come back to the awake state so if you're awake and you consciously uh, consciously cherish powerful cognitions and feeling connection with higher with the highest reality uh then naturally your life will change for the better and then again you will be a blessing for yourself and a blessing for others so puja is very important and it should not just be taken as oh it's a random ritual people do no it's actually a meditation not only it's a meditation but it's a meditation which allows you to consciously build feeling connection with a certain god or deity that you feel connected to and through that you start to raise yourself and you allow these uh, beings to manifest through you so uh, for me it's a big thing because i was like i said i was never introduced into rituals uh, since the beginning of my life much meditation was the way i connected initially to, uh, through buddhism and then towards hinduism uh, actually buddhism is a is a branch of hinduism but um but yeah and then swami ji is is kind of showing me that you know what is puja and one of the the greatest thing with puja also is that you cherish strong sweet sacred sentiments which is very important to bring a lot of completion to emotions unfulfilled emotions unfulfilled desires sitting inside our heart and uh, which are trying to you know they are interfering with what we do on a daily basis because they try to to complete themselves to express themselves but we don't allow it for various reason and then it becomes a very chaotic space chaotic uh, happening inside our inner space and uh, that does not allow us to remain in a high state of awareness so puja is like it's a meditation it's a feeling connection it's devotion sacred sentiments it's the science of downloading basically beings and allowing them to it's like puja is ultimate <laughs> it's really ultimate and not only that it also i for, i'm forgetting one big point which i mentioned in some of my past videos is puja is engage engaging your body but not only at the action level your senses you know the smell of the incense the seeing the light touching the water and drinking the water and having the prasadam at the end so the taste and the touch obviously touching all the different items throughout the puja and uh, and the, the earring so the the chanting of the mantras the bell so all the senses are highly engaged into that experience so it's an end to end experience for the from the most gross dimension of your life which is your body your senses 
to the most subtle dimension of your life, which is the space of Paramashivoham. So all dimensions, all parts of your existence are there involved in one thing, in, uh, integrated. So puja really integrates you. It integrates your emotions, it integrates your body, it integrates, uh, it integrates everything. So it's, a, it's one of the, I would say today, I would say it's the most powerful way of raising yourself uh, towards the highest reality, towards the space of Paramashivoham. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Thanking you very much again for watching this video and uh, please share it with friends. We need to raise awareness about these sacred rituals in Hinduism. We have to protect Hinduism because now uh, many anti-Hindu forces for various reasons, they have their own agendas. Um, they, they want to destroy the whole thing. They want to remove the science behind it. They just want to make it, uh, I don't know what they want to make it, but they don't want the authentic Hinduism to, uh, to, 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 to thrive, to be revived and thrived again. Um, so, so protect Hinduism, protect the gurus, because gurus are the most important part of reviving this tradition. It's one of the most important parts of reviving uh, the authentic Hinduism, so protecting the gurus. And uh, yes, so let us stand and, and stand for Sanatana Dharma. Like Swamiji was saying, people say, you know, Sanatana Dharma is the eternal Dharma. It's never going to disappear. Yeah, it's not going to dis disappear. I mean, the Dharma is, is what is ruling the entire manifestation, the entire universe. But the tradition which allows you to learn about this Dharma, implement it in your life and use it for you to liberate yourself, that tradition can disappear. So we have to stand for it, not in a violent way, but we have to live it authentically, radiate it and share the knowledge with others so that people also want to live it. And like that, uh, we will protect Sanatana Hindu Dharma. So uh, yes, thank you again for watching. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified when I upload and uh, like, leave a comment below your experiences of puja. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, topics you would like to hear uh, my experience about. So leave that in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Nityanandam. Om Bhairava Rudraya Maha Rudraya Kala Rudraya Kalpanda Rudraya Veera Rudraya Rudra Rudraya Kora Rudraya Kora Rudraya Martanga Rudraya Andha Rudraya Pramanda Rudraya Chanda Rudraya Prachanda Rudraya Tanda Rudraya Shura Rudraya Veera Rudraya Bhava Rudraya Bhima Rudraya Atala Rudraya Vitala Rudraya Sutala Rudraya Matala Rudraya Sadala Rudraya Talatala Rudraya Patala Rudraya